Hello, everybody. It's the Red Road Homestead. Oh, I've been busy today. Believe it or not, it's been 90 degrees all week and raining. And it's still got clouds, but it's cold out here. I got my jacket on. I can't believe it went from 90 to cold. But I'll show you what I'm doing today. I won't be able to get it all the way completed because... I am going to need some uh, planting soil and some bone meal and some other nutrients, but I've now made a, another potato planter thing, like my trash can. This one was a water catchment, but it got broke, so what I did was I took the faucet off that I had on it. There's the hole where the faucet was, but that's fine. It can be used for drainage. And then I drilled, I don't know if you could see it on here. I guess you could see it a little bit, but I drilled holes into the bottom for more drainage. And this is now be gonna come one of my potato planters. So that is what I'm going to do with that. I will throw twigs and and leaves, compost. Of course, I got to get dirt. But now, besides just the um, trash can I got out here, I now have another container. So one I'll probably use for regular potatoes. And one I'm going to use, I think, for sweet potato slips. So I'm going to pull this over here. Yeah, looky there. Look at that. That's the elderberries. There's the one I thought was dead coming back all the way up its stem. Even this one that I thought was dead. And then here's some babies coming up. So, yeah. I'm going to bring this over here and just set it down because it is now done. That's up for putting things in it and growing in it. I uh, can't really use it for the water catchment. I couldn't get it fixed good enough, so. Yep, there will be next to my other potatoes. So, that's what that's gonna be used for. And give you a little look-see of the trees. They're doing very good. Um. Don't know about that kumquat, but this kumquat is doing really fine. Look at those leaves. And over here, which I think I got an animal making a hole in there, but I have apple tree, another apple tree, and here's one of my cherry trees. Another cherry tree. I also got banana trees on the other side of the cabin. So, and up front I have raspberries. And I got grapes back here. So, yeah, we're getting our little fruit forest going. Look at all these blueberries. I don't know how long it's going to last, though. I seen a couple deers over here eyeing the stuff yesterday. Really need to get some help to get some fencing around these trees while they're growing and then here over here is my other blueberry and I don't think the deer spotted them yet but I seen them go right through the woods right over there last night so anyways that's the trees and now what I'm working at I'm gonna bring these bricks over here that that water catchment barrel was on, them are going to go right over there next to the garden fence and behind the bird cage and bird feeders. And I'm going to bring over, eh, the turkeys are over there and the goats, they're out playing. I'm going to bring this one 
and those two bricks there and I think I'm gonna go get a pallet board to sit on top and I'm gonna sit this water catchment tank up on top of the pallet which later on I want to try to get some money up to get those hoses I forget what they're called that has the holes all in them for the garden so I want to lift this water catchment up so that I will be able to gravity feed the garden because we'll get rain for like a week and then you might not see nothing for two weeks so that's what I'm doing today I'm gonna be moving this stuff over go get my trusty old wagon over there to move my bricks and that's what I'm going to do so anyway it's been raining here don't know if it's gonna rain today I'll take you out and well first of all the two red Rhode Island Reds I moved in with my other bigger chickens kept escaping well, originally, they were out here with banana with pajamas, and they keep coming back over here. So finally, they win. I let them come back in with banana with pajamas, and they seem to be doing mighty fine with Mr. Banana Pajamas back here, the rooster. Here's the bunnies. They've been doing fine. On the real hot days, I've been putting... A frozen bottle of water in and a frozen ice pack to keep them cool because I heard rabbits don't do good down here in the temperatures so yep there's Stewie 1 Stewie 2 just went in the other thing and then the other banana with pajamas has gone broody so huh, I might get some baby chicks but I'm gonna leave her alone I don't want to bother her she won't let me check, so, and I don't feel like getting pecked today, so I'm not going to check. <laughs> and, anyways, I don't know if the little turkeys are going to walk around or not. If I walk too far out there, you won't be able to hear me. Oh, there's one baby chick running around. That ain't really too small of a chicks anymore. They're getting pretty big. Big enough that, uh... Gizmo, as you see, is putting on a show for them. So, yeehaw! Anyways, I'm going to get busy while it's cool because it's been so hot. Me working outside doesn't work out. And if the rain holds off tomorrow morning, I'm going to be on the tractor mowing this tall grass. So, there's the neighbor's pig. Over here is where I had the Rhode Island Reds, but they don't seem to like these bigger guys. And then actually got the Olivegers are inside now. I guess they went inside. But I have four Olivegers also and three cinnamon that reside here. And then, oh, I got four eggs today. Tons of flies. But anyways, here's the little meat chickens and they seem to be doing okay I see they already got their water dirty and it ain't even been an hour since I put the water in so yep, I think they be, should be named little piglets I probably should throw some more food in there they like to dash out at me let me see if I can get I'll just throw them a scoop in remove these eggs Somebody wants some more food, huh? You guys want some more food? Don't try to escape when I open the door. I know you love to. I can't get that one. There we go. There you go. Got it. Well, that I'm escaping. And there they go. Putting their feed bag on again. Like they haven't been fed. eggs back up. I gotta take them in in a little bit. I think these chickens are, they like watching the meat hens. <laughs> it's not the meat for you. Oh, look! 
Here we go. The aloe vegas came out. Look how big they've gotten. They're almost as big as these guys. I'm pretty sure they're all female. At least I hope so. But like I said before, I no longer have Richard number two. He got something stuck in his craw and I couldn't help him get it out. He couldn't get it out. And he ended up passing away. So, yeah, I got no roosters over here unless one of these Alavegar pullets are a male. But the only one I got questioned could be that one way over there. But I'm not sure. He's the only one that has different tails. The rest of them have tail feathers like females. So, hmm, I really don't know. But anyways, it's one of those chicken days, I guess. <laughs> They're all out searching for what they can find. I'd say alligators are not as pretty as some of the other chickens are, but that's okay. That black one over there, he kind of reminds me of a crow. Uh, but they told me that these are alligators, so I guess we'll see in about six months when they start laying eggs. These cinnamons here, they lay brown eggs, so... I don't know, alligators have like blue legs. It's kind of cool. Except for that one. His is a little bit pinker. But the rest of them have blue legs. <laughs> kind of different. Unless one got mixed up. I don't know. And the meat chickens, of course, they only live about eight weeks. So those guys won't be, even though they're so cute, won't be around that long. And the Rhode Island Reds are down there with the bananas with pajamas and the bunny rabbits. And I heard that there may be two Buff Orphingtons headed this way in July. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But anyways, you guys, I got to get to work while it's cool and not scorching hot. So, I'm going to let you all go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, and check out Ed's Crazy Farm and Bake a Leg and Let's Dig It. Little Wolf Homestead. Our Cabin in the Woods. And I'm trying to think of a few. Apricot Tiny Homes, Ann's Tiny Life. Please check out these channels, like, share, and subscribe. Simply Jan's Homestead is a really great one. Will It Grow is another one. Check these people out. They're great homesteads, great growing. It's fun. And I'll let y'all go. Bye for now. Happy growing. <laughs>